Shalom to the elect, giving all praise and glory to you. How about Shemel Shabbat, Shemel Kukudash, and giving double honor to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, well, peace and salutation to the elect. John Ronald, your 44,000 prophets, and the rest of the remnant of believers in, of Yahweh Shemel Shabbat, Shemel Kukudash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means He exists, He should be. Baha Shem is in the name, Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son's name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai means He deliver. Baha Shem Dash, the name of Spirit Holy. Yahweh Shai, in deliver of nation of Israel. Start first with the elect. Shemel Mapa is a Mapa from the Great Millstone Plain. He was King located here in the city of Philadelphia. Double line said of the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. So we have it here. I seen this originally on another social media site, so I just looked it up on YouTube, and lo and behold, it says life after divorce from living in a car to storage unit. Now, I had to check out this particular individual, but um, apparently, I guess the guy got divorced, and... You know, he pretty much probably got drained of everything. And, um... This dude going into, a, like, probably, like, the smallest uh, option of all storage units. It might be, like, a... I'm not sure if that's, like, a 5x5 five five or something like that. But, um... You know, this is what he got. He got a backpack... A do rag, some shorts, another pair of shoes, you know, a couple pair of drawers or, or the underwear, and you know, just gonna do it. So I'm just gonna check out, you know, pretty much what the dude do, because I think it's gonna go into what the dude end up doing, and um. You know, this can seem humorous, but a lot of guys can be pushed to this point where, you know, they ain't got nowhere or nothing to do, um, nowhere to go, and, uh, you know, go do this. Um, you know, I'll mention, um, when I first came into Truth, I actually was kicked out of my place, and, um, you know, uh, I had a storage unit, but I ain't live inside it, but in a sense, you know, the amount of times where... You, you go back and forth to it, you know, just for housing your goods and stuff like that. It damn near seems like <laughs> you, um, you, you know, it's like a, like kind of like, as you would say, maybe like a second home in a sense, you know. And, um, hey, you know, in these last days, a lot of uh, a hard times is going to come where this is going to be more and more and more normal. Okay, for people, and um, yeah, like like you see right here, this dude got a bottle of water, uh, a look like a crock pot, hooked up probably to the electric uh, outlets within the storage unit with extension cord, and he making a oodle and noodle. Okay, yeah, this dude eating a oodle and noodle on the floor too. You know, he do. You know, so he pretty much done hit rock bottom. All right? So, oodle and noodle, which I don't suggest I can eat oodles and noodles and stuff. That stuff is death. Um, But, um, you know, this dude just taking it day by day. And, um, you know, a woman, you know, you uh, brothers that maybe even consider, like, the whole, uh, you know, going into marriage, obviously, you know, uh, that's a uh, like meaning the third party marriage. You know you gotta watch out because uh, it's a lot of legality with that type of stuff. You know I know the apostles and elders don't really suggest you know brothers uh, get into all of that. You know because uh, you enter an Esau system and like I said you could get drained of all types of things. You know, this recently is this guy at my job. He's about to go through. Um, he about to go through a. Um, uh, uh, like retirement and um, I even talked to my other co-worker who retired and um, he pretty much uh, his situation he um, he uh, 
he had a previous uh, woman in the system he was with, married to on the books. And when it came down to getting his pension, he had to do all sorts of uh, legal, get a hire a lawyer, pay money. And it talk, took years just for cooperation and, um, you know, different documents being signed so that he, it could be released um, for him to, you know, basically uh, collect, like, the pension, all right? And which um, also, um, he was telling me about how uh, his wife, his former wife, would be entitled to it because of them being married. You know, I'm not going to get all into the legal stuff, but that's what he was saying. You know, I was just like, whoa, like, that's heavy because, um, like, imagine if you worked your whole life and then, you know, you made a, uh, you know, uh, say, for example, as they say, a bad decision <laughs> that the chick don't like. And then you're married to her, but then y'all so-called legally separated, but she still, or not, or not legally, but just separated in general. She still have different rights to different things. And he, like I say... You getting into just this whole thing uh, of called you know marriage on the Esau system, just because it's um, you know you so called find yourself falling in love or love her or want to help her, it entitles them to a lot. So it basically more so benefits uh, them. Okay. So um, I'm gonna get uh. Uh, I'm gonna see what he talking about, and then I'm get maybe like possibly uh, some uh, different scriptures. Actually, I'm gonna get some scripture real quick, and we'll go from there. All right, and a lot of things you gotta trust in the faith of Yah by Shem Shine, walk in the Spirit too. Um, just, you know, just less this uh, verse of the day says, "So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing." By the word of God and you get faith from hearing this word you know and in the word is various different testimonies of how the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai did not forsake his um, servants you know our forefathers and such you know as uh, it does tell you in um, the book of I think that's Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 It says in verse 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did any, did ever, pardon me, any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? For Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay. And, um. You know, when you go into it, it I like, ah, no. There's different scriptures. Um, dang, I want to get that. Let me see if I can find some that um, talk about, you know, um, our forefathers, even for mothers, the Lord um, rescued and, you know, dealt with, okay? I'm thinking Second Maccabees the seventh chapter might be or eighth chapter might be something. I'ma see right here, Second Maccabees the seventh chapter. Okay, so you can read Second Maccabees the seventh chapter, 
And these uh, seven brethren with their mother, they held their for their uh, they, pardon, they held their integrity um, because they did not want to eat obviously uh, pork, swine's flesh. All right, were tormented and were scourged and whips, you know. And uh, that was a very integral thing. Now, uh, I was trying to find this other scripture. I'm going to have to see if I can find it in the blue letter. I was reading a while ago. Alright, this is, I'm going to try to use this. I think this might be it. Psalms 4-4. 44 and 1. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us. What work thou didst in their days, in the times of old? How thou didst dri drive at the heathen with thy hand, with the Lord's power, and plantest them. Plant should be should be like to establish uh, the tie, which means to establish, right? Uh, Bar in the Hebrew. Uh, them, how thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. Yeah, the heathen. Okay. Before they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, Yahweh Shai, in thine arm. In the light of thy countenance, because thou hast favor unto them, and it's through wisdom, okay, that men are reformed. All right, so you know, there's, um, you know, these different setups. But don't fall up for the trap. I'm going to see this now real quick. I'm just been going through some things. And, you know, I just had to come out to the storage room and catch a break. And I <laughs> walk. I don't feel like driving. I'm going to walk to the uh, gas station. But, yeah, I'm just... Dude. I'm just so... I'm just so depressed right now. I don't know what's going on with me. Like, and I don't want to go back with family members to stay with them, you know, and it's just. It's yeah, and that's another thing. Like, you know, all of that, that's like all shame and stuff like that, man. So, Jake, like how our apostles and elders would tell us not to, you know, pretty much, like, pretty much to have our own stuff, man. Pretty simple as that, you know. You ain't gotta depend on nobody, and, you know. You like meaning like in the world, they ain't uh, following the same standards as our relatives. Okay, especially when you being around like like I say like uh, like you done as you like go through like that like he got the plague of the heart. All right. This is a Sirach chapter 25 and 13. And it says, Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. All right? So, you know, you know, that's very, very heavy. I mean, you don't want that disease, that illness, that mental uh, anguish of, a, you know, of a woman. You know, dudes will blow their brains out and lose it over it 
you know, and it tells you with depression, you should drive that stuff away, you know, the, the thing, thoughts that are heavy on to thee, you know, and, um, hey, like, um, A lot of times it's just best to just be alone. Okay, simple as that. With your Abba Shemel Shai. All right. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter thirty and twenty-one, and it says, "Give not over the, thy mind or to heaviness, and afflict not thyself in thine own counsel." You could drive yourself crazy too. You know. Uh, you know, uh, you know the demons uh, met working on your intellect, you know, and have you believe something that's not, you know. But watch out also for that love demon and stuff like that with these chicks. You think if she love you and stuff, you know, she just trying to get married so that she can get these different benefits, you know. And these a lot of the times these women know about these different benefits, and they play off of manipulating you as a man. Uh, just to be able to, uh, you know, win. All right. This is also Sirach chapter 37. And it says. But be continually in verse 12. 37 to 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep. Commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sar with thee if thou shalt miscarry. And you got brothers that are born for adversity and help hold you up. And let the counsel of thine own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. Okay, and there's, I can say, hey, in the spirit, there's things that, hey, you just know that's right. <laughs> You know, within you. You know, obviously you're going to be counseled by Yahweh Hashem Hashai, but, and that's going to influence your decision and judgment. Remember, the Lord gave us discernment, you know. So, you know, um, you know, you can make conscious decisions, you know, because a lot of times you there's things you're going to be holding personal for yourself, and you're just going to have to go and make the decision and go walking in the spirit. You know, you between you and Yahweh Hashem El Shai. But yeah, because it says, For a man's mind is sometime won't tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in a high tower. Okay? And above all, this pray to the Most High that he will direct thy way in truth and let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. Alright, and that's what's smart. So, just wanted to hit that. You know, I'm going to see what this dude goes and do. You know, a lot of times with this living out there, you know, uh, you know, you, you kind of pretty much taking advantage of everything, little benefits you can get from different stores. You probably like, you know, you can get free ice at a certain convenience store, use a microwave, stay in Terry at a certain spot, and it's more safer. You know, just trying to, basically spend time and then meanwhile I'm not sure I guess this is a chick let me see something <laughs> feed my sugar daddy yeah I don't know what this is about but I don't know what this is about if that's his, his parent chick and she, uh, you know, hooking or something up by this dude struggling, but that's it for the spirit in this spirit right now. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get into like more message messages and lessons concerning this, but uh, yeah, man. And then I leave with this also precept too. There's something I've been meditating on. I was listening to the elder brother Kazak from uh. Mississippi and it says in Psalm chapter 4 and 4 or no 4, uh, four and 3 but know that Yahweh has set apart him that is godly for himself Yahweh will hear when I call unto him you know that's heavy 
So it's not upon deaf ears your prayers. And there's some of us, like I say, like, 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 hey, especially if we elect, hey, you know, in our lots, it's like, hey, we on some eunuch type time or just, you know, this ain't dealing, had got no chick, but obviously you have your means of getting, you know, <laughs> what you need, um, you know, balancing everything out. You know, you get you as a nah or something like that. But yeah, man, set apart, pala, which goes into being wonderful, which is distinct and separated. So if you are distinct, that's that's also a sign of you being wonderful, all right, marvelous, all right, pala, marked out, okay? So that should also build your confidence up because if Yahweh Shem El Shai distinguish you, it also goes into being admirable, all right? And um, illustrious, okay? These are very, you know, beautiful words. You know, Pala itself is beautiful. It's a very beautiful word in Hebrew. It also means to be separate, but it's wonderful, marvelous, okay? So... We we just uh got to do our particular lot, and we're going to get everything that Yahweh Shem El Shai promised. And we just got to keep the faith, so. I'm going to leave off with this. Psalm chapter 4 and 6. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Yahweh. Okay. All right, it, I'm going to just go ahead and say it like, you know, I'm going to reread it. It says, there be many that say, who will show us any good? And like I said, a lot of Jake, like I said, they've depressed. They've been treated like shite, you know, and they may come into access, you know. Who going to show us any good, you know? But it says, Yahweh, lift up thy the light of thy countenance upon us, which would be through his knowledge. Okay. And that is going to beautify you and change your face, all right? Which ultimately is going to beautify your aura, you know, your energy, you know, that presence. And, A, you know, A, it's going to, A, bring forth the abundance and attraction of good things, you know, that's to come for us, you know? Get out of that sunken place. So it says, Thou has put gladness in my heart. More than in the time that their corn and their wine increase. Okay. I will both lay me. And that, uh, that's, a, that's a good prayer for sleep. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Yahweh, only makes me dwell in safety. All right. And, um, you know, you could go with safety is uh, Yashub. Which, uh. JC to remain. Okay. But that's going to be it. Shalom to the elect. You know, uh, learn from. Don't let a woman put your understanding upon her. You know, keep your understanding. You know, don't be a servant for Keisha's sake and destroy yourself where you're sitting there like this dude. This dude got a smoothie, smoothie king, oodle and noodle, and, and laying on the ground. And, and looking for mats and stuff just to, and trying to basically stay out of danger, you know. <laughs> but shalom to you later.